Hi all, welcome back. The knowledge module is the latest addition to Odoo. Like the rest of Odoo, the module is highly integrated and works more like a knowledge center to share knowledge among the employees and the administrator. Wikipedia inspires the module. You can create and share articles in the knowledge module inside the organization, mostly related to work for maintaining proper communication inside the organization itself. Now, let's take a look inside the knowledge module. This is the knowledge module and once you open the module, you can see such a article which has been pre-created and inside this article a lot of things are used. Now let's see how to create an article and how to share it and all things related to a particular article. Okay, so it's very simple to create an article. Just go to the top right corner, click on the create button and there comes the article creation window. So the first step is to put an heading for the article. So I'm just putting the heading as flowers. Now let's create an article related to flowers. Now just drag the pointer on top of the heading and there you can see add icon and add cover. Now add icon, just click on the add icon button and a random emoji will be loaded as the icon. If you want to change it, just click on the icon and there comes a variety of options for y'all to choose from now from here i'm choosing a flower okay so i've changed the icon now if you go on top again you can see add cover just click on the add cover and an image will be automatically loaded if you want to change this cover image just click on change and from here you can choose okay You have a lot of flower image, like the images related to our heading will be loaded. Now, if you want to change, you can do that. So just choose any one from this and change it. Okay, now it's changed, right? Now, so the heading is done, the icon is done and the cover is done. So if you want to change the cover, you can click change cover. And if you want to remove the cover, just click on the remove cover. Okay, so after that, the next thing is the content of the article. So here we have the slash command. Okay, this is to add dynamic content for the page. Now by using this add slash command, you can add a lot of variety of dynamic contents to this particular page. Okay, so we have the bulleted list, numbered list, checklist, table, separator, quote, code, etc. Okay. Just click on the slash command and choose from that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to choose the table of content. Now, this table represents all the content which will be following in the article. Now, this is flowers, which is the heading of the table. Now, I'm going to put some other headings. So, I'm choosing heading from here. Heading to FAQ. Now, as you can see, this FAQ heading has also been added to the table of content. Now, under that, I'm adding a question. Mm. I'm just adding a random question. Okay. So, for this question, I'm putting the answer inside the template. Okay. So, inside template also, you can access the slash command. Okay. So, I'm just adding a bulleted list and giving some colors like red, white, yellow. And if you want to put checkbox, you can do that. Checklists. Okay. So I'm just giving some numbers or something. One, two, three. And here we also have the numbered list. So I'm giving like A. Okay. So you can use the slash command to put dynamic content into your page. Okay. So this is how you add a template inside the 
article now as you know this module is integrated so you have connections from other modules outside the knowledge module as well so i'm just going to the sales module and just going to the reporting section here so as you can see this is the reporting section you have the graph view here like the pie chart bar chart line chart and all so here under the favorite section you can see insert view in article so i'm just clicking this insert view in article i'm going to insert this view into my article so the name of my article is flowers i've chosen the article if you just drag you can see that particular view has been added to the article okay so this is how you add a view into the article so that is done if you want to filter and all that is also possible from here okay now we ha have something else just put the slash command and there search for kanban you can see item kanban and here you can add certain you know data into your database like if i'm adding roses a new table roses and putting insert you can see a create button under the roses i'm clicking that create okay another article has come so i'm writing as red rose okay adding a cover for that okay now now if you want you can just remove the cover also no problem here you can see add properties i'm just clicking on add properties and this is nothing but adding fields so i'm adding a field like one the field type also can be chosen from here it can be integer decimal date anything so i'm choosing tags from here and tags are also given here create okay and clicking on view in canvas so it's created here you can see the properties and here you can give anything okay if you want to add one more you can just click on the add properties now if you go back to this article here under the canvas view you can see the one which you have created right now okay same way we have list view also item list now here i'm also giving as some other flaws i'll give lotus or something clicking on insert and here you can see the same thing in list view okay so i'm creating it one more i'll create white rose okay so here you can see add property i'm giving it as two field type i'm choosing tags and tags can be given from here so i'm giving white some other color red and checking the view in canvas box so you can see one more is added now here you can choose the tags created corresponding to this property okay now if you go back to the flaws that is our article you can see that has been seen in the canvas view as well as the list view okay so now let's go to the crm module here's the crm module now these are the leads right now i'm just clicking on this code for 12 tables or something just clicking on that and here you can see property right just under the phone field you can see property just clicking on that a property has been added already that's why it's seen like this now here you can see add property click on add property and here you can add a property i'm clicking and giving the name as new one and the field name i mean field type i'm giving it as tags and you can give the tags here okay i've created new two tags now here you can see a field name new one have come and here you can choose the tags which have been specified okay now here you have the internal nodes 
Now, if you want to add something from the knowledge module towards the CRM view, for that here on the top right corner, you can see the knowledge article search. So just click on that icon. And here comes all the articles inside the knowledge module. I'm clicking on the flowers, opening that. And I just want to add this particular template to that internal load section. So I'm uh, clicking the button use as notes. Here you can see that has come under the internal notes here. So that's why we say these have been integrated like each and every module have connection with one another. Okay, so we've added that particular thing inside the CRM. Okay, now let's go back to the knowledge module. Now, if you want to publish this article, okay, now this is the article I've created. If you want to publish this, what you have to do, click on the share icon on the top right corner. Now here you can see share to web. Just enable that button and it has been published. So anyone can view this article published. You can see that. Now, if you want to share this particular article with someone, you can just choose that person here click on this text box over here and here you can choose the recipient so i'm just choosing anita oliver and you can also give the access that is the permission permission over the article for this particular recipient now we have write read and no access i'm just giving the read access clicking on invite so a new member has been added for this particular article now here you can see that has gone from private to shared so private means only the person who have created this have access over it and if it's shared means it's like more than one person have access over that particular article right so just click on share you can see anita oliver has been added and also her permission has been given there okay now here we have the different sections which are favorites workspace shared and private so I've, we've already talked about the shared and private section now the workspace and favorites are nothing but similar sections also now if you this article you can see a star over here if you just click on the star here this will come under the favorites it's nothing but adding to favorites okay now if you just remove it it will go from the favorite section and this is the workspace now if you want to share this to any of these workspace just drag and drop it i'm just putting it under the sales and marketing there comes a confirmation box about moving of the article clicking on ok so that's been moved okay so that's done now here you can see two menus which is home and search home is nothing but the exact menu which we are seeing okay now search under search we can search for articles we have different filters we can filter based on workspace okay so this is filtered based on workspace now we can filter based on shared okay there's nothing under shared right now and if you want you can see the favorites and you also have group by if you want to group by section you can see that okay and menu article that can also be seen and here you have the favorites you if you want you can uh, save the current search and set it as default you can import records link this menu in spreadsheet insert view in article insert link in article insert link in spreadsheet and also add this to your dashboard Okay, all these are possible and we have two kinds of views, which is list and Kanban view. Okay. Now, let's go back to the knowledge module. Now here we have the chatter. Open the chatter and there you can send message. I'm just sending message to mark them. Hey, okay, clicking on send, that message has been sent. Okay, now here you have the log note, 
which is this and also if you want to schedule any kinds of activities you can do that from here now this is the knowledge modules icon you can search articles from here this is the followers of this particular article and here by using this you can you know add attachments okay and finally we have this three dots here now by clicking this you can just first thing is to move right now i'm just choosing this flowers here by clicking on the move to i can choose where i want to move this article so i'm putting it under private and move article a confirmation box comes clicking on ok now it's been moved to the private section now the next thing which comes under the three dots is to log the article it's been logged so no further edits has been possible now you can also unlock it if you want you can delete it by using the delete button i'm not doing that right now and if you want to create a copy just click on create a copy okay so here you can see a copy is created now let's go back to the three dots and here you can see full width so you can see the change here it's currently in a full width view okay and here you can see last edited by and created by like who edited it last and when has been created okay so these are the interesting facts about the knowledge module hope it's clear thank you